Hey guys, welcome to this really really amazing video. In this video, we're going to talk about XRP Ripple. There are a lot of news to be covered, so make sure you get your coffee because this is going to be a pretty long video. So let's get started right into it. So XRP Wales, Binance Band, Z Crypto Block, New FX licenses. This is the editor's pick. Some major news. So today, XRP Millionaire transfers 26 million coins from Binance. Yes, guys. So at the start of the disastrous weekend for crypto exchange giant Binance, the finance magnates reported on a recent transfer of XRP worth approximately 13 million from Binance to a digital wallet. So what did it exactly do? An XRP account moved 26 million coins from Binance to an unknown crypto wallet on Thursday, 24 June at 17. Also, uh, Japan's FSA warns against crypto exchange giant Binance and Binance banned in UK by FCA. So this was the major news about XRP whale. So this whale has transferred once again 26 million coins from Binance. Yes. And it was done uh, four days ago. So what was its worth? Well, XRP account moved 146 million worth of Ripple to an unknown wallet. So about, uh, I just forgot once again how many coins yet. 26 million coins worth 146 million dollars moved to an unknown wallet. So that's a uh, news of the week, guys. It's it's a it's a hell lot of amount. Okay, so this millionaire or billionaire <laughs> just transferred uh, from the Binance to a unknown wallet because of the way Binance is functioning and some uh, doubts about Binance. People are not believing in Binance and also as you guys see, Binance banned in UK by FCA because uh, there are some allegations on Binance which we'll talk about in future videos. But just so you guys know that because of this reason, uh, the millionaire didn't see his money safe in Binance so he transferred to an unknown wallet. Let's talk about another news. The swan dive continues in Ripple XRP after the breakout. But will the 50 cent mark be hold by Ripple? So you can read this right here. This is a small analysis showing whether Ripple will be able to hold its price of 50 cents or let's call the resistance point. And the first support at 65 cents has been broken in Ripple XRP. So the 200 SMA held as support at 65 cents. So this purple support right here. So if you just go ahead and see at 65 cents, that's right here. And uh, Ripple forecast a report. So uh, FX leaders has their own 2021 Ripple forecast report, which they, uh, let's say, just put on price predictions about Ripple. And you might have a look at that as well. On Monday, they saw XRP form a hammer candlestick right at 200 SME. That's th they are talking about right here. And that was a bullish reversing signal, but there was no bounce and the decline resumed, breaking this move average and pushing towards the 50 cent today. So this is not a support resistance level, but it is a round number. So let's see if there will be bounce from there since the decline has stalled right now. So as we guys talked in the beginning of the video, the whole crypto market is at a stable point right now. Okay, so including XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything is almost going flat or in the negatives. So we're talking about Bitcoin Ethereum. Let's talk about what they are worth currently. We'll jump directly to Ripple. So XRP is worth 64 cents right now, a 7% increase in the last 24 hours, still a 2% decrease in the last seven days. Let's see the chart and compare it uh, the chart with right. This is obviously the live chart, so it will be the same, but let's have a look. And we'll also look at the number of holders because number of holders also makes a huge difference. So let's see. So this is the chart right here. It's uh, almost similar. So if you guys just zoom in, uh, yes. So it was at his uh, resist support resistance level. That's 50 cents. And yes, we can see that it has maintained its resistance level above 50 cents at around uh, 64 cents for the whole day. And if you see the seven day chart, that's a week's chart. We'll see, we'll be able to see an average of 50 cents being maintained. So yes, uh, 50 cents was maintained 
it got higher up to 70 cents like 68 cents but it came down to again 58 so between 50 to 60 cents it has been able to sorry between 60 to 70 cents xrp has maintained its uh, support support resistance level so let's talk about another tweet so mr intuitive uh, posted this uh, that uh, he thinks that uh, there needs to be some clarification so what are the clarifications so if you just go to tweets and if we just scroll down i'll show you guys right here uh, so So yes, I'm talking about this. Mr. Intuitive tweeted the difference between centralized and concentrated. A lot of people in the cryptocurrency world or the crypto community are still very, very confused about it. So, Rip, the, so it's basically saying that Ripple has control over 12% of the nodes. And you, as the user, you need 80% of the nodes to approve for a transaction. So XRP is not centralized. Just stating the facts and just I would say busting the myths that what people think it's not as what people think it is also uh, a website uh, recently comes in the news and it's a very popular website just like you no know, Fiverr or op something like Fiverr and website will basically provides freelancer services like we have guru.com we have Fiverr.com we have Upwork so it's Golands and Golands is one of the leading freelance website which accepts uh, XRP as a form of payment so if you guys are searching for websites or you no know, practical websites or some apps which are there are a lot of them basically but if you're searching for some very famous ones then one of them is Golands so if you guys are still ahead in this video if you are still not uh, clear with what ripple is basically you shouldn't be but you can go on to ripple.com and then you can check the uh, information about ripple so that's really really good and let's move on uh, to the uh, price chart so i just wanted you guys to show the price chart of 2017 2018 about ripple so if you just see uh, the price of ripple it was at around 3.5 us dollars in 2017 and you see this uh, chart right here guys Oh, just a minute sorry for that but uh, this J curve right here this J curve is expected in 2021 as well now I'm not saying it's true I'm not saying it will 100% gonna happen and this is not a financial advice but based on the previous predictions we will still be able to see a curve or a J curve something like this in the price of XRP in the coming months so get ready for it and now we are finally at the end of this video so let's have a look at the lawsuit and are things going to be the exactly same as they are as of now so in the grand scheme of things things have very things have been very fair and the last ruling was exactly the way it had to be and uh, people are thinking that the lawsuit will still continue some are thinking lawsuit will end well what do i think well sc is not going to let <laughs> ripple go off this lawsuit very very easily uh, so it may go go on till i know late early 2022 at least that's what i expect from the other news articles the lawsuit will get carried on till early 2022 so we'll see what happens but if you want to read more updates about it you can basically just go on to google and type the xrp lawsuit updates and you'll get to it the last video SEC seeks to stop Ripple from calling the ex SEC director for XRP testimony. SEC does not want its former head of corporation finance to testify or answer the question about XRP. And he, SEC is afraid that XRP will, so the XRP team will approach the ex SEC director for the testimony. And uh, the SEC has filed a motion speaking to quash Ripple's request to have Hinman testify at a deposition on june 30. so ripple says hinman likely has information about sec's policy regarding digital assets its views on bitcoin and ether and communication with ripple and third parties about the regulatory status of xrp the information could prove critical for xrp as it seeks to bluster its fair notice defense so sec is basically afraid and guys this is uh, my personal opinion but whenever retail investors are trying to 
make money as he just jumps in and tries to get these fancy laws and it just makes it harder for the retail investors to earn money but on the other hand it's an odd fact that hedge funds they have done many illegal things compared to retail investors but still they are the most profitable just have a think about it and just think about it till then if you like this video make sure to give this video a like comment down below any doubts or suggestions you have also make sure to subscribe to the channel press the bell icon next to it so that you'll be notified every single day i upload videos like this thanks for watching till the end and have a really really wonderful day ahead